Hi everyone, Phil from statisticsmentor.com. Continue on the video about factorizing a cubic. Say I've got one root, x is 3. Now I'm going to show you how to factorize this cubic using a method of comparing coefficients. fx may be written, since we have one of the roots, and it's equal to 3, x minus 3, and times something which is a quadratic. Okay, now why would that be? Uh, this you don't need to know, but just in case you want to know, if you don't want to know, shut your ears. I won't take a moment. Why this is is because fx will be equal to x minus three times x minus or plus or minus something, x or plus or minus something. But this thing here is, if you multiply it out, a quadratic. Hence, we just say it's ax squared plus bx plus c. All right, that's how we get this. Okay, the rest of you can rejoin us. Now, comparing coefficients. Let's multiply this whole thing out. We get this. Multiply out, we get this. Now, if you can just reverse back for a few moments when I was when I wrote this down, the idea of finding the of factorizing this cubic is to find the values a B and C. And the idea is that I'm going to compare coefficients because when I multiply this out, I'm going to have x cubed terms, x squared terms, power x terms, and then something with just a number. And the idea is that the power on the x cube should match the number here. The number on the x squared term should match the number here. Alright, so we're going to have a be able to set up a simultaneous system a system of simultaneous equations to solve. That's the thing. This one we can just uh, collect the common factors, so ax cubed, and there's only one ax cubed term here, and you can see straight away that if this is going to equal to this, a must take the value 1. All right, but let's not, let's take this one step at a time. x squared terms, we'll collect those, power 1 x term, like that. And now we can see, comparing the coefficients, that we have immediately that a is equal to 1 because this thing has to equal to this. x squared term, this here, b minus 3, must equal minus 5. x term, c minus 3b, must equal to minus 2. And finally, this thing must equal to minus 24. So, as I say, we have a system of equations to solve. Uh, so this is, let's just say here, this is for the power x squared term, this power x, x cubed term, this power x squared term. Minus 5, uh, just the power 1 term. And then no power at all. System of some test equations, easy peasy. So we can solve backwards. This is only one, one equation, one unknown. Back it out, you can see immediately c is equal to minus 8. Then substitute this into here to get, so now that we can solve for b, you can see that b is going to be minus 2. And then we've already got a. So we've got a is 1, b is minus 8, c is minus, uh, sorry, b is minus 2, c is minus 8. I'll confirm putting b is minus 2 into here is satisfied, so it's great. So a is 1, b is minus 2. If b is minus 2, then here is minus 2 minus 3 is minus 5. There. And c, well, if c is minus 8, minus 8 times minus 3 times minus 2 is minus 2. And then that's obvious. Okay, so this means that I can now write fx is equal to x minus 3 and I substitute into here x squared minus 2x minus 8 and this thing we can use the quadratic formula to get the two roots or we can use the method of completing the squares okay it's over to you now to finish that hope that's been helpful take care